Alright, another Miracom Minute. We're going to take a look at Miracom's Edison Award winning 400 series horn strobes. So let's take the protective plate off so we can look at our screw terminal. So that way we can take a look at the back of the actual 400 series horn strobe. I'm going to unscrew the screw here and pop off the back plate. With the back plate removed, we can now adjust the candela setting for our horn strobe. We have to remove this plate here and flip it over to the desired setting. Uh, for example, if it wanted to be 15 candela, we move it over here and insert the white plate. Once that is inserted, we'll actually be able to get the candela reading at the bottom here. Okay. We also have a bank of dip switches. Now the dip switches are used for our output settings, whether or not they're going to be synced or non-synced, and what type of output we're going to have, signal rate wise. Are we going to be using continuous, temporal, march time, or 20 BPM? We can also have a volume setting of either a high or low. Right? We need to take a look at the readings here, and if we wanted to say have a non-sync, our SW1 of our dip switches we set to on. If we wanted to have the sync, we'd have our SW1 set to off, which it is right now. If we're doing our signal rates, we're doing SW4 to SW5. So, for example, if we had a continuous rate, we'd want SW4 and 5 both to be off. So if I looked, my 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right now they're set to on. If I wanted to be continuous, I'd flip those down to off. Where we have our volume setting, we'd have SW6. SW6, if we had it high, would be on. Right now it's in the off position, therefore it'd be low. But if we wanted it on, we'd flip that to the on position. Now our volume setting would be high. Once the desired settings are in place, we can then attach the mounting plate back on. Put in our screw terminal. And once secure, again, putting on the protective plate. Miracom, always learning.